Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. Earlier on this week, Call of Duty posted a new thing that they're going to be doing, I guess, known as the COD Pod. It's a Call of Duty based podcast with some of the uh, devs and whatnot from Call of Duty. And their first episode ended up focusing a lot on Black Ops 6. And for the most part, a lot of it was reiterating things we already kind of knew or could infer from Call of Duty Direct that, of course, happened a few weeks back. But in this podcast episode, they also detailed some new things, some new information for Black Ops 6, and they revealed some changes that are interesting, to say the least. I think a lot of players are going to view them as unfortunate changes. Some players, on the other hand, are probably going to see the positives in them as well, because obviously no one's ever going to fully agree on it. But uh, that said, wanted to dive into a bit more detail on some of the things that were updated here. This first one is really more of a clarification, I think, because of the way that they presented this back during the Black Ops 6 Direct event. But uh, one of the takeaways, one of the new pieces of information and confirmations that we got from this COD pod is that Omni Move Movements, our new movement upgrade for Black Ops 6, where we can sprint forwards, backwards, left and right, and dive forwards, backwards, left and right, and prone in a 360 degree way is not something that can be toggled off. It's a core part of the game and it'll be the base movement in multiplayer, zombies, and eventually for Warzone as well when that integrates shortly after launch. So Omni Movement is going to be 100% forced on everyone whenever you are playing any aspect of the game. Now, the confusion and the surprise with this statement is that uh, how they presented it in the Black Ops 6 Direct seemingly indicated that you could uh, actually go through and turn it off if you didn't want to play with the Omni movements and you could use just standard Call of Duty movement that we're used to that we've had for, you know, years and years and years now. If we go through, I'm going to go ahead and mute it so I can talk over it, but if we go through and we watch the Omni movement and intelligent movement little clip here within the actual COD Direct or COD uh, Black Ops 6 Direct event itself, you'll be able to see they do highlight in certain spots here that it is something that is shown with it off and then something with it on so as we go through and we skim through part of the video here you'll see they're talking about how with proning when it's on you can have that 360 degree motion when it's off it's like the basic prone that we're used to so if we uh, rewind a couple of seconds here you can see like this sort of display i think a lot of people interpreted myself included as something that oh if you don't want to play with the movement and you want like just the basic call of duty stuff you can just go ahead you can turn it off you'll be good to go they talk about this throughout it in several different ways really the only thing that you can toggle on or off though is the intelligent movement system here with the movement assist that allow you to basically basically skip pressing your buttons a bunch and instead will automatically mantle you over walls or will automatically start your sprint or will dive in certain situations you can actually see in the settings here with the sprint assist you can turn that off mantle assist off crouch assist off omni movement though is a standard feature now it's officially confirmed and is not something you can turn on or off it is the core gameplay certain players will have certain feelings about that i'm sure i think the safest thing to say here though is that None of us have tried it yet. We've only ever seen how it looks, and oftentimes things can certainly feel different than what they look like. Uh, so when the beta does come around, we'll be able to get our hands on and really see how this feels and, uh, you know, make an opinion based off of that. I wouldn't rush to any opinions based on that announcement as of now, though, just because it doesn't quite make sense, given the fact that none of us have played the game yet. But that's not the only announcement that came from this COD pod. We also got some other interesting gameplay details as well as we're diving into the remainder of the conversations today, by the way. If you do enjoy the video, a like rating is always really appreciated. And if you're new to the channel or you simply have not subscribed yet, let's change that every single day. I got you covered with news, updates, patch notes, meta breakdowns, everything going on in COD is right here. And of course, we're coming up on a very busy season with even more Black Ops 6 reveals inbound. Season 5 is right around the corner, so you're not going to want to miss anything. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. The next bit of info we have here is in regards to some actual multiplayer gameplay mechanics, specifically score streaks. Matt Scrantz from Treyarch actually was on the pod for a little bit, and he detailed some updates to the score streak system here. Charlie Intel sort of summarizes, but initially, Black Ops 6, the way that they described it, is only going to have score streaks. And I think that's inherently a bit of an unfortunate change because I think MW3 did it really cool, where if you want to use score streaks, you can. But if you wanted to use kill streaks, you can just toggle over to that. And then if your play style is a bit more objective heavy, you'll be rewarded by going through and playing the objective, but also getting kills and doing everything with your score streaks. However, if you're a bit more passive, maybe you're more of like a TDM player or something, you're not doing too much that involves score, 
you could just use kill streaks and rely on that that way instead i like the uh, ability to play both ways and i think that gives every player no matter what they want an option there whereas it seems like within black ops 6 they are just limiting it to score streaks here now when it comes to that direct score streak system there will not be any looping of score streaks which again i think is a bit of a bummer this means if you can only select three score streaks let's say you're using a uav a counter uav and an advanced uav as your three score streaks in black ops 6 in one life if you go on an eight kill streak or rather an eight streak and get enough score to get that advanced uav that means you'll have earned your uav your counter uav and the advanced uav but then if you go on a 10 streak a 12 a 14 let's say you go on a 30 kill streak or a 30 gun streak you're only ever going to be able to get one advanced uav or one uav yourself that entire life instead of after you get your advanced uav it cycles back and then if you get 500 more score you'll get a uav then another counter then another advance and it helps you build on your streak and go up and up and up i think looping streaks is a phenomenal feature and it does a sort of add in a scale gap you know better players do get rewarded but it's also just possible if you go on a nice little streak every now and then you'll still get those higher streaks to earn but no looping score streaks in black ops 6 uh they also say that black ops 6 features traditional score streaks where every time you die it does fully reset you may remember in cold war streaks didn't reset on death which was a very interesting design choice but in this if you're on you know an 1100 score streak and then you die you're back to zero every single life there is no carry over there if you end up getting taken out so some interesting fundamental changes to the actual score streak system that are like I said at the uh, start of the video, interesting, I think is the best way to describe it. I think some players might view this as good. Some players might view this as bad, but curious to know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. Now, another thing that was actually revealed during this podcast as well is some updates for season five. So just wanted to throw this briefly onto the end of the video here. Uh, within season five, they actually said that we're going to have three new variant maps for MW3 MP that are going to be cell shaded, actually. So the entire design of them is going to look a little bit different. Rust is going to have Tunoxide. Shipment's going to have Cell Ship. And then Stash House is going to have Ink House. So same core maps are going to be the exact same layout and everything, but they're visually going to be cell shaded. And so the look a little bit different kind of a cool change there i like all the map variants they're adding in especially when it's the small maps because i usually play these whenever i'm going for weekly challenges or leveling up guns so always cool to have that so a bit of a preview for season five from the cod pod as well and then lastly here, Call of Duty also posted some more stuff for Season 5, saying that Atlas Superstore, yes, the Superstore POI from Verdansk, is actually coming into Urzikstan for Season 5. So we have a new POI update happening. They dropped like this Employee of the Month style video here for uh, Superstore showcasing this. You can see like where it's located on the map here a little bit. So this is absolutely going to be a hot drop. They sort of updated the general layout and look of it for Urzikstan, so it'll have like a different color color scheme and everything but as far as what Superstore is it seems like it's remotely close to what it was over on Verdansk I think I saw a ladder there on the roof that wasn't there previously but it's still the Superstore POI and it is coming back to Warzone here interesting with all the rumors that Verdansk is you know delayed and coming in mid 2025 or something they're bringing over Verdansk POIs I do wonder if this is going to be something that we actually get uh more of in future map updates as well also there was a zip line it seemed like going up to the roof there too so potentially some fundamental layout changes of superstore but it's coming back as a new poi so that's pretty cool as well but yeah all that being said that is effectively going to wrap things up for this one if you guys enjoyed the video like ratings always really appreciated and if you're new here be sure to hit that subscribe button on your way out but once again thank you so much for tuning in and until next time take it easy have an awesome rest of your day and i'll catch you later peace out